Hey, bro fans, this is Todd. Anyway, everything's a disaster right now as I have been working hard on trying to get this to fit on here and have room still for He-Man, as you know. And so I've been scanning parts in. Where is, oh, here it is. The last part I scanned in recently was just this right here. I spent quite a while getting the scanned in just right so I could, uh, I'll show you my plan that I have. So now it's time to scan this. Now I have the scanner, it's stationary. It's really easy to use. Just put the part on it and it's called uh, the Soul 3D Scanner. And it takes quite a while to do it. As you can see, this is real time. It scans one direction, takes a picture of it with a light on, and then it scans back the other direction. And this is in real time. This is how long it actually takes for it to slowly scan as it goes along and it is mighty slow um the quality is about average it's not like super great but it, at the time it was really good quality when i first got the scanner now i can only scan items up to uh let's see uh 6.69 inches so less than seven inches um at this range here it only scans 3.9 inches for the the height of this one now, believe it or not, this is real time as the laser goes across. And you'd think, well, that's not too bad, right? Watching it just scan in this object and you're thinking, well, yeah, I could wait that long to have an object scanned. Sure, sure. Why not? But you will see when it is done scanning this one angle from this one viewpoint, from this front view only, it is going to take and rotate the object 36 degrees. Now, for those that know math, to go a full, actually it's less than 36, it'd be 11 total. So anyway, basically it only rotates it a little bit, probably 30 degrees, I don't know. But anyway, it's going to rotate it now. You'll see it in a second. There it goes. Whoop. And it does this for 10 cycles per scan. 10 cycles. So you're waiting a long time for this to scan. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you guys. Here's a time lapse of it going through all 10 of its cycles. Now, if it was this fast, that would be awesome, but it's not this fast. But it is kind of cool to watch and see how it works. Now, after you've gone through all 10 cycles, I'm sorry, but you're still not done. You now have to place it on its side and so it can get other angles. And this also takes 10 cycles. So now we're up to 20 and maybe it might work with 20 cycles, but no, it didn't work with 20 cycles. So I had to put it on the other side and do 10 more cycles. So now we got 10 cycles, 10 cycles, 10 cycles, and you can have up to five different scans for a total of 50, but this one only took 30 cycles total and all together took about an hour and a half of scanning. So that is the way I scan this thing in. So not only do I want to have this be able to sit up on top of the castle, but I also want it to be able to fit on the other side of the castle too. And I was thinking, you know, if you were to mount this gun right here, how cool would it be to have it so it has a little opening here for the gun to fit through. So then you could have like a protected shell over and a little slot for the gun to actually shoot through this right here on the top. I mean, that'd be so cool. So that's what I'm working on is an idea of some sort of open window area that allows this to fit through. So I spent the time scanning this gun in so that we could have that cool little window in there for the gun to fit through there. And then He-Man to look through the window while he's controlling the gun. And that's pretty cool. Now, I am thinking about maybe making an extra floor piece here that's bigger so that if he man's standing on here, he's got more room to stand. And so that's something I'm kind of looking at. I was thinking really cool if I made something that went all the way across from here to here as one big piece that would go, because it's in the same plane. If you take a look, it's in the exact same plane from this floor piece to this floor piece. There's an open area here you could take and create some sort of thing going all the way across and then bring it out to give you a third floor and more room. So first, making the um, piece that goes in between these two, 
and make it so it works for more than one um, turret or more than one tower. So go on this tower or the other towers that I'm working on. And then two, that it can shoot the gun from that turret. And what's cool about it is even if you don't have this piece, just having that little chunk with the window piece in it would kind of be a fun little extra thing to add some more extra sides on here to protect He-Man or whoever's up here doing the firing. Anyway, that's kind of my thought process. We'll see if I can do it or not. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, check it out what I got so far. So here is the turret all scanned in. Pretty cool. I mean, yes, there's still some flaws in it because like I said, it's not the greatest scanner ever. So you can still see it's kind of rough and stuff, but it's pretty cool. This will help me get my spacing just right for that window we were talking about for this uh, turret to fit through there. And that will be cool, cool, cool. All right, well, anyway, thanks for watching and good journey. If you found enjoyment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Do it.